So guys, for this basic edit in iMovie, we're going to cover things like just basic panning, adding text to your projects and transitions, unnecessary footage, checking on your focal point and how to zoom in and zoom out. Then we're going to look at that AE lock, um, the lock it in your exposure, and then we're going to look at some slideshows. All right, guys, so let's get started with this project. Okay, guys, this is your Morgo coming to you, and we're going to start this edit on these basic edits for iMovie. So what I'm going to do is bring up iMovie that's in your... Now, I'm only doing from Mac. I'm, I don't have PC. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to bring up your iMovie, and this is where you start. You want to go into Create New. There are three items here, Media, Projects, and Theater. So basically, you want to do because we're going to start a new project. So we're going to create a new project by Create New. And then when we create new, you can go to movie or trailer. Movie is custom that you're making your own movie from blank. Trailer is templates if you need to import images and video in a template. But we're going to do your basic movie. We're going to create it from scratch. You see here it has three panels. So one is for your media. This is your video display. And this is for your timeline. So what we want to do is capture your images. So it says here to import your images. You can just click here. It's easier, and I normally do. It's just have a folder for my images already ready. And all you have to do is highlight them all. I'm going to do Command A to highlight all my images, and I'm going to drag them here. So these are the images that we're going to be working with. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is grab my first clip. Okay, so my first clip here in a video is it's easier to add it by doing a plus sign or see how it's highlighted or you can just drag it to the timeline. So when I'm looking at this clip, I'm going to take, turn all the volume down. So I can explain to you what's going on and we won't have distractions from the clip. So I'm going to start this clip and I'm trying to find where I want to start the position of this clip because I want to do panning first. So when I get to this point right there, I want to start my panning and see how long this clip is. You can either to cut this clip, you can either pull it in to where you want it to start or make sure it's highlighted. And then when you see it's highlighted, it'll have a yellow bar around it. Or you can go and stop it at eight seconds. And this is where I want to, you see the line here, guys, this line to the right side of me, that's exactly where I wanted to stop. So all you have to do is click on it with this thicker, bold line, right click this, split cut it. So when you split cut it, now this is highlighted. So this is the active one that's highlighted. So you want to just delete it. Okay, so now this is an, an active and how you can tell the difference is because when you click on it, you could do all other things. So, okay, let's go see what this clip looks like. So I want this to be the first one about just panning on the buffet tablescape. All right, so I'm looking at the first footage and thinking, okay, that's all I needed to stop right there. Okay, now from here, I can again clip it or since it's just a small area, I'm going to just stop it right there. Okay, so this is clip number one. Now, this clip needs a text. So I'm going to go to my titles. Up here in the top panel, you'll see your media, audio, where you add your music, your titles, your backgrounds, and then your transitions. So we're going to go to titles first. Okay, so we're going to name this Buffet Tablescape. So I'm just going to grab this one here, and it's highlighted. I'm going to drag it on top where I want it to be. Okay, and then I'm going to click in the box and just call it Buffet Tablescape. Okay, I'm going to double click on it and give it a color and let's just make it yellow. Okay, and let's X out of this. Alright, so now this is also see how long you want it. You can either lift it or shorten it. So we don't need it that long, just maybe like a couple of seconds. So let's go to the beginning of the clip. Okay. And you see your bold line here, that's where you wanna start. Okay, that's too short. So I'm gonna sit there and drag this out longer. 
and then I'm going to push it back just a little bit. And you can see it. It appears. And then it fades back out. So we want clip number one. Now they have different type of uh, transitions you can do within your clip. Just different type of design. So you just have to go pick one that you like. In the title, it will explain to you which one you'll want. And you could just go over each one to see the effect of it. Okay. All right. So now let's go back to media. And let's get the second image. And we're going to click the plus sign. And it's going to automatically drop it to the right of your image that's already there. So we're finished this clip. We go into the next one. And this is a clip that we're going to talk about shaky camera and movement. Okay, so in here, we don't want to see all of this. So wait till you get into your right position. Stop. So all of this, guys, has to be edited out. You can't show content like that. Right click. We're going to split clip. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out because we don't need all this information. We can't be having things like this in our content. A lot of people, your subscribers is not going to want to watch that type of stuff. So guys, we have to eliminate this so we could just delete it. And besides, it makes it dizzy and it looks a little unprofessional. Okay, so now we're going from one clip to another. I'm at a different angle. All right, so basically I'm looking at this. This is all I need. So I'm going to stop it here. Again, I'm going to highlight it. Right click, split clip, highlight it, delete. Got that? So the third one, we're going to talk about the, the uh, focal point. Okay, so the main focus of this clip, you can skim through it, is just to show you how I lift it up. And I'm showing you other parts of the tablescape. So again, I'm going to click the plus button. Go to the beginning of that clip. Okay, guys. Okay, so that's where I'm going to start. So let me just go back a second. Because now that I'm going from one angle to another, we're going to add a transition. So when it transitions, I'm changing kind of the subject matter. I'm going from this to that. All right, so in between here, you add your transitions. So we're going to go up again to the top where it's transitions. There are many other transitions, as you can see, and you can skim through them. This is the flash one. This is the blur. This is a fade to black. And this is a cross dissolve. These are the basic ones that I use. So I'm going to use this cross blur. I want to mainly focus on the cheese tray. So when I do it now, it focuses in. Okay, so that's my subject matter. But I want to wait till I get to the point of my hand. There we go. So I'm going to go use my left arrow to go back. And I want to start it there. So again, I'm going to drag this into it. There we go. Lift it up. It goes back down. Stop. Okay. So I want to right click and split this clip. Now the next clip is going to be about zoom. So I'm going to zoom into this area right here. Once I put it down, I want to focus on this. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to split this clip right here. And this section is the only section I'm going to be working with right now. So I'm going to go to our effects. And I think it's a little dark. So what we can do is highlight it. We're going to go to the exposure. These are the two areas for exposure. This is your uh, main one, which is an automatic. But I like to use the second one because I like to customize it myself. So it looks a little yellow. You see like on the warm side. So I need to not have it so warm looking. So I just need to cool it off just a little and I want to brighten it just a little. You see that? Okay, just a little brightness to it. All right. So now I already did the exposure for this one. Now I want to do the zoom. So in order to do the zoom, we're going to come over to the crop menu. The crop menu, you have three things. It's a fill, which is the whole thing. 
is your crop to fill. You could crop out the image, only what you need. And then you have the Ken's Burn. Ken Burn is a motion. So with Ken Burns, it has a start and an end. I want this whole thing to be a start. I want this to be the ending. So I'm gonna leave the start alone, which is down here, it's very faint, and this is the end. Okay, and you can see here how it got solid and I highlighted that area. I don't want to see all of it. I basically want to zoom in on the cheese tray. Okay, so all of this is going to start here and it's going to zoom into this point here. So let's go back. There it is. Stop. Okay, so next we're going to zoom out. So we can do the opposite. We're going to grab some clip. Okay, just there. Right clip, split clip, delete. So this one, I'm gonna zoom out. So again, we're gonna to go to our crop tool, over to the Kinsburg. And this time where it says end, we want it to start. So we're gonna take the start. You see now that it is solid and this is dash. This is inactive, this is active. We don't wanna take the start to the point that I want. And then we're going to take the end and zoom out. I just know I just want this part here. Okay, so that's where my special effect is going to be. So let's go back. We're going to zoom in and out. Okay, so that's how you zoom in and zoom out. Okay, again, we want this color corrected. We're going to go back up here. Now here you could also say color match and you can color match with any other thing here okay but we're going to go back to this one here just kind of bring out that yellow and just lighten it up just a little all right there we go the next clip is going to be the AE lock that we do on the camera phone remember when I started to film with the camera and I showed you about the AE lock so let's go do this one next so now we're going to highlight this Click on the plus sign and we're going to work on this clip. We're going to basically use this whole entire clip. And the basis of this clip was basically just to show you, again, guys, let's do a transition between this scene to this scene. So let's go back to transitions. Okay, let's do, um, we did, we did a cross. Let's try this one here. All right, so we're gonna grab this cross zoom. We're gonna put it in between, and it's a one second. You can, ex you can actually change the times on this if you want, but I just kind of keep it at the default. So from now, we're gonna go into here, we're gonna cross zoom into a new effect. Okay, so now I'm talking about this candle. And I really can't see much of the candle and it's supposed to be yellow because the lights are off. So I see my hands in a way. We're not gonna show all that on the clip. That is not necessary. That is not the subject. This is the subject matter right here. So what we're gonna do guys, you got it. Highlight it, stop it here, right click, split cl clip it and delete. So when we transition, there we go. And that's what we're talking about because I'm talking about this candle and I'm talking about the AE lock exposure on your iPhone or on your Android, your Android. So I'm showing you how, you know, to lock. If your camera is not locked and every time you're near a window or a shadow, it's going to go light or bright. So that was a demonstration I was using here in this example. And then when I showed you how to lock it and then I'm moving it. You see, and that's just to show you purposely that once you lock your exposure in, you can move it all over and that exposure should stay locked. So the reason for the movement here is just a demonstration of showing you how it works. So the rest of this information is important. Okay, so we're finished with this clip. Let's go to media. All right, the next thing we're going to do is this last one here before we get to our slideshow. So now the last video clip I'm gonna use, let's transition again. So let's go through a transition. Okay, I don't like to do crazy transitions. Let's just do a wipe. 
Okay, I just want to show you different ones. I mean, I've seen some people be having some weird transitions all over the place. Keep it classic. Keep it simple. Um, you know, just keep it classic, simple. All right, so we're going to transition here. Okay, so now I'm demonstrating where I want to start, and I'm moving. Let me just do that again. Okay, so we don't show that in our final clip, right? So let's go back again and let's say where to stop. So we're going back. That's your point of stop. Again, you take this, you drag it to where you want it, right there. That's where you want it to be. There you go. And basically, I'm doing an overall view of the buffet tablescape. Just showing it, panning from left to right. So I'm discussing that up and down. And you see how when I do my tablescapes, I like to hover. I like to talk about it. I like to pull the features out of it. I like to show, you know, the contents of this particular thing. All right. So basically, that's it for this clip. The rest of this clip is fine. Now, I can do color correction. So let's go in, highlight it. Let's use this second one here. Make it up just a tad brighter. And let's get rid of some of that yellow. You see how it goes from your warm? Okay, you don't want it too blue. Get as close as you can to have white. All right. Little contrast. And these features you could play with. You don't want it blown out. That is overexposure and that's blown out. And you don't want your images like that. Right here looks pretty good. All right, so we have that. Now, the last thing we want to do is our slideshow. So now we're going back to media. We're going to pick up our pictures. This is one. Okay, so each picture you put out, you can have, this is four seconds. And with four seconds, it's just how long it does the transition. And if you don't want this transition, click on it. You go up to your crop and you can take it off. Okay, and then that way, you're just going to get just a still picture. Remember guys, no borders. Make sure when you take our pictures, they are in horizontal. Okay, if you don't like that, we're going to go into crop fill. And you see it's going to automatically get rid of the border. But then what, what do you want to see? This or this. So if you move up to this point here, we go back. Okay, that's the part we see it and it's no movement. Okay, now the next thing we want to do, once we get our images, we got this highlighted. Okay, we're going to... Once we have our images cropped, and then that's why we want to place it. Okay, that's it. No movement. Now, say if we want that slow movement for Ken's bar. So we're going to go back over here again. We're going to click on what is the starting point and what's the end point. The start is here. The end, I mean, guys, don't let them do it for you. You do it. So this is your main point you want to do. So this is what you want to end up with here. All right, so let's go back out. There we go. See that smooth transition going towards it, and that's the subject. Stop here. Now, this needs a transition here. Let's do the white flash. Let's go back into our transitions. Let's do fade to white. Let's pull that in. It sort of gave you that white burst of flash. So you go in. There you go. And that's the right speed, which is like four. This is three seconds. All right, so let's go to our media. Get on the next photo. Okay. Very similar. Let's see where this one is. This is going out. And this looks good. That's the way it is. So let's highlight it. Let's go to the crop. And just let's bring it towards the candle. Okay, so this is a start. So the candle is the main subject, and it's going to go all the way out to the end. Okay, and then, and then also let's do a transition. I'm going to go back to transition, use another fade to white. So now, let's keep it warm. It says this candle lit, it should be warm and yellow. Okay, now let's use another image. We're going to go to this one here. Add this one and when you do a vertical image you see how you have the box here so we do not want to have that shown in our videos so we're going to use it to crop right there that looks good let's go back to Ken's because if we have a fill it's going to look like this 
nothing should be looking like this on your videos so we're going to go highlight it Ken Burns this is the top this is the bottom let's bring this all the way out okay so let it stop right here and this is at four seconds let's see what this looks like if you wanted to go faster let's pick up the speed let's bring it in from four seconds to two seconds okay it should be twice the speed there we go okay so now we have the speed okay let's get a transition we're going to go back in transitions another fade to white okay let's do our last picture which is going to be this one no, we have two more we're going to have one here let's do our transition it's all going to be fade to white now this transition it's going to go out and it's going to cut to go across. I want this transition to go out, but faster. Highlight it. Bring it down to about two seconds. Faster. One and a half seconds. There we go. Let's color correct it. So let's go back in our color. Bring down some of that yellow and brighten it up a little bit okay bring out a little bit so now we're going to go back into our last image we're going to pull the last one it looks very similar but this is going to be a different effect we're going to have it go out we're not going to give it a transition we're going to go to crop kin's fur okay we want it to go across so we're going to have it start here And we're going to have it end. Over here. Okay, so it should swipe right across. All right, but we want to do it quickly, not slow. So let's do it down to three seconds. Okay, let's go back to that one. It goes out. Clip it across. Okay, no transition. That's a little slow. So let's go. Make it a little faster. Three seconds, let's give it two. There we go, let's do a color correction. So we're going back to color, bring this down just a little, brighten this one just up. All right guys, there we go. So that is um, all the special effects. So let me just show you something real quick. And if you want to, you know, add music to it, this is what you do. So we're going to only add music to the slideshow part. So I'm scrolling down to where the images are. So these here are my pictures. All right. So I'm going to go into my audio. It's going to select one of my songs here. I'm going to select a That's song. wrong. Wasn't it fun? Is okay. So I don't want the whole song. Now you could drag the whole thing down on the timeline or you could just pull what you need. I only need maybe this. See this part here and maybe this. I'm going to drag this under here. I want it to start here. And make sure the music is not too loud so you can hear. So I'm not speaking at this point. So I have my music usually at 20%. You know. Make you see. And another thing I want to show you, if you want your music to come in, see this itty bitty thing here, it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to grab, it's this little dot, you kind of pull it in here, and it goes loud and then slow, okay, it sort of fades in, so this part here fades in, you can hear it, you see how it gets loud, you see. there you go, and then when you want to fade out, you take this one here, Grab it. It's kind of hard to grab, guys. There you go. Fade it out. There we go. So let's go back here. You see, this is not thinking real life. It might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. Okay, one thing about it, I want this to be a little longer. So I'm going to make this. 
four seconds. Then I'll track my music and pull that out too. All right, let's try it again. You see, this is not the game be life, it might just have been a bad dream. You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me. Here we go, guys. So let's see this in full force. All right, so we're going to go extend all the way. All right, and let's start at the beginning. And let's see what this looks like. It is two seconds, two minutes long. Here we go. Again here, we're talking about, I'm not going to add music to the end. So we're talking about the different angles. We're talking about panning. We're talking about subject points here. We did text, transitions, focal point. What's the focus of your subject matter at the time? Then we go into zooming in. Again, zooming out. Transition into AE lock. So we're looking at this candle, how it is um, unlocked and it changed from light to, it glows from light to darker, light to darker. Okay. And this is so important again, obviously, and make sure your camera is light so your exposure won't change like that if you're in front of a window, because it will. And then once it locked in, we showed you effect of when it locks in. There we go. Look at the movement. There we go. So we good on our exposure. Okay, a swipe. Overall view of the tablescape. Look at that, all the objects from the buffet. Our focus is to go on the s'mores maker. Go down to the level of interest. Pull back up, overall view. And this is great when we're doing center pieces. And then our slideshow. All right, guys. I hope you got some grasp on how to do this video. And I hope this helps with some of your basic editing skills. All right, guys. This is your more girl. And I will see you in the next video on YouTube Tuesday. Okay, guys, for next week, YouTube Tuesday, we're going to animate an intro. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do an animation and keynote for your intro. All right, guys, see you on the next YouTube Tuesday. It's Rumor Girl.